Lesson one, introduction to the soroban. First, the abacus, what is it? The abacus was an ancient tool used for calculation. Merchants, traders, and clerks would use this to make mathematical computations. Why should we use the abacus in our schools today with our students? Using the abacus helps foster a love of numbers in, in our children. They love the tactile process of moving the beads. This process helps them connect something visual with the numbers they are learning. The abacus helps students gain an intuitive understanding of numbers. That is, our students will be able to compute numbers instinctively. They're able to do it without even thinking. Using the abacus involves the visual and motor parts of the brain, which help our students overcome the abstract nature of mathematics. One of the main goals of an academic program is to provide consistency, a program that's coherent. Consistent usage of the abacus in the younger grades can yield significant results over time. Ultimately, students enjoy using the abacus and they gain a love of mathematics and numbers. What is the Soroban? This is the Soroban abacus. It is the Japanese form of an abacus. Why use the Soroban? Some argue that the Soroban is the most efficient and best abacus available. They argue that the design allows students to go further and deeper into the mathematics they're learning. It is difficult, though, to argue that the Soroban is the best. The point is not which abacus, but rather the idea of the abacus in general. Let's provide a few definitions related to the abacus. First, let's look at this middle bar right here that separates the lower beads from the upper beads. This middle bar is called the answer line. When none of the beads are touching the answer line, none of the lower beads, none of the upper beads touch the answer line, we are at zero. So currently, we are at zero with this abacus. Let's now look at the columns. This abacus has three columns, the red column, the yellow column, and the blue column. The red represents the ones, or the units. The yellow represents the tens. So the ones, the tens, and the blue represents the hundreds. So the blue is the hundreds, the yellow is the tens, the red is the ones. Let's now look at the red column. Let's look at the lower beads. Each lower bead in the red column represents one. The upper bead in the red column represents five. Moving to the yellow, each of the lower beads represents 10, and our upper yellow bead represents 50. Each of the lower blue beads represents 100, and the upper blue bead represents 500. This is an introduction to the Soroban.